Hello, Chris here. So, I'm rebuilding a Hadorf piano right now, a Verticord. And so I thought I'd look into the company a little bit. So looking at some of these uh, older ads that you see in the magazines, they talk about the rich tone. I like this one phrase here, the tone is the jewel of the piano. The Hadorf piano had what they called a homo vibrating sounding board treasure casket for jewels of tone <laughs> I thought since I have one and I'm putting a new soundboard in it I get to study the old soundboard so let me go into a little history first uh, Charles Hadorf which this right here is the only known picture of him he was born in Sweden February 2nd 1864 moved to Germany and he worked for some piano factories and in 1893 he moves to america and he worked in new york city for a couple of piano companies there then he moved to uh, minneapolis uh, he's known to have worked for Rowdenbush piano company where he was the superintendent and that was in 1898 he was well known in the trade by then so in uh, 1901 a wealthy furniture maker uh, wanted to get in the piano business. Partnered up with Hadorf and they started their company. Check out this factory. This factory is huge. Um, we got three stories tall and 10 acres. <laughs> uh, here's a picture I found of inside the factory. He dies suddenly of a heart attack at the age of 64 and uh, so fate that happens to us all one day so anyways uh, that's a little history so let's look into what is the homo vibrating soundboard so here is a soundboard that I removed from a verticord and I drew a grid pattern on there and then I mic'd the whole thing and it looked like this. Now I have measured many soundboards and this one is as a unique characteristic and that is, is that it tapers from the top. The top is 0.34 inches and then it's 0.23 inches at the bottom and it's practically a perfect taper from the top to the bottom and the only little other tapering I saw was up there in the right hand corner at the top of the bridge uh, it seems to taper towards the right a little bit there but other than that the whole soundboard is well for lack of a better term homogeneous so now I look at the rib scale and the rib scale is also very even and it's designed so that the stress curve would give a nice smooth curve. You would probably understand that part better if I showed you some examples of other pianos. Here is a collared and collared. Now you can see that it dips down at the front end, goes way up, and then it's kind of rocky up there. That's really uneven. And here is a chickering. Also, it's kind of flat at, at the top right there. Then it spikes up to a little peak and it spikes up to the curve and then drops all the way back down. So very uneven. The Hadorf, very even. Um, it's practically a parabolic curve of some sort. So uh, the secret of the Hadorf Homo vibrating soundboard is a uh, very thoughtful design. The panel uh, tapered evenly from top to bottom and the rib scale was also a nice even and smooth rib scale. Alright, thanks for watching.